What's going on, ESGN Nation, and welcome back to another episode of the Cleveland Browns franchise. This is episode number 16, and this is week 17, and we are on the road, our last road game of the season, as we are on the road to Pittsburgh, as we're taking on the Steelers, as you see here. And, of course, the Steelers would love to get revenge on us. Uh, they have not been playing too well here this season. Of course, getting a victory over an undefeated team here in Week 17 will put a very, very nice uh, little cherry on their, I guess, their uh, Sunday here for them to, uh, you know, say that they at least had a somewhat productive season. And of course, we were taking our undefeated streak on the road here, and we're going to try to see if we can try to ruffle up Mr. Ross's burger right there. As you see, making his last-minute thoughts here, possible last home game for the Steelers. As you see there, 4-11 and 11 for the season. And we're going to try to get something going here. As you take a look here, look at their schedule. And uh, we played them back in Week 8, and, yeah, we beat them pretty good, 56-17, if you guys remember that game. Definitely go check it out. But there you see Baker Mayfield, 222 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions in that game for Baker Mayfield. That's for Rossenberger, only 205 for him. Uh, he completed 61% of his passes. Uh, he has one. He had one touchdown, three interceptions in that game. He was sacked five times. And our defense had a pretty much of a nice field day with him, causing a lot of trouble in that backfield and, of course, applying that pressure on him. Of course, you know, Ben, he's been in the league for 17 years now. He doesn't move down the field as like he used to. Uh, you know, he's, his age is finally catching up with him. And, uh, you know, he's going to have to uh, rely on Najee Harris. You see there last uh, time we played against him, 17 carries, 91 yards. And I believe he had a rushing touchdown in the game. Ebron, uh, of course, had a nice game there. Uh, I think he got in some ones, but uh, Susher, there you see, he did not get in there. So he's going to have a little, need a lot of help, need a lot of uh, assistance in this game if he, uh, will, you know, to be honest, to protect themselves. Now, the last game they played against was, of course, against the Kansas City Chiefs. And it looks like the Chiefs pretty much did the same, kind of the same thing they to him. He barely got 100, got close to 200 yards. He had 189 yards, one touchdown. Uh, he completed 37% uh, of his passes. Ouch. Uh, he was sacked three times. I can't believe they, Steelers got a hold of... Uh, the, uh, uh, Mahomes there seven times in that game. Wow. Uh, 13 carries, Najee Harris, 62 yards, no rushing touchdowns. Uh, but Kansas City, you see there, they got it. Williams had a touchdown. He had 26, uh, 26 yards for six carries. Uh, and then you just cool it out. Um, and then you see Watt, Derek Watt, the other Watt brother <laughs> that does not have uh, two letters in his first name. Uh, he also had a touchdown there in that game as well. So, so our job is, again, just try to apply some pressure on the Steelers' offensive line, get to Ben Rosberg as much as we possibly can, uh, defend the outside run on Najee Harris. Don't let him run, just kind of shut him down and kind of just be having the Steelers just kind of be one-dimensional. Just let him be, uh, you know, have, have Ben throw, uh, you know, 35 to 40 times in the game. And like I said, just have him on the run throughout the whole game. And, of course, we're going to have to have that help there from Jackson, Garrett, and the rest of the defensive line as well. On the offensive side of things, of course, we're going to run the football. <laughs> you think I'm silly? I'm not going to run the football on these guys? Come on. So that's what we're going to try to do here this week is we're going to try to do run the football. And, of course, the guy right there, TJ Watt, is a guy that we're going to have to watch out for, especially in the passing game as he could be very, very uh, – some. Very difficult if he, they start blitzing on us, uh, especially in the pass blitzing there against uh, our quarterback, Baker Mayfield. So as we take a look here at Ben's numbers, 19 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, 3,311 yards for the season. Let's see what we can do here to Big Ben to start off this game. First and 10, ball their own 25-yard line. Najee Harris going to run on this one up the middle, and they are going to get, uh, I believe they'll go ahead and get that first down as they're able to go ahead and move the change. You see Najee Harris' last game, uh, his numbers from last week. We we'll go through a, actually it was a uh, nine, eight yard game. As we go to a third and two, and then we are able to stop uh, Harris in the backfield there. Nice job there, defense. And we get now Baker Mayfield 
and the Browns out here on the field. So Baker Mayfield, 41 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. <laughs> if only we only got rid of like nine of those interceptions right now, Mayfield would be a beast uh, for the a, pretty much a top five, probably in the, in the running there for the MVP, along with him and Chubb. Uh, speaking of Chubb, there you see his numbers from last week. Had a nice week there against the Packers. And we're trying to see if we can do the same thing again here this week. As we go to a third and two on their own 36-yard line. Nick Chubb in the backfield. and run this one up the middle like we our game plan says. And that's what we're going to do here again as we do convert here for another first down. So, you know, that game last week we played against the Green Bay Packers was a great game. Uh, we had four rushing touchdowns and just had a monster yardage there for Nick Chubb as we see Hooper gets a nice catch there as uh, he convert, or gets the uh, five-yard reception on that play. But for the most part, you know, we're, we're happy. Uh, you know, um, we got uh, Rodgers out of the game towards the end there, but Rodgers is okay. He didn't get injured. Uh, we see Mayfield here throwing this one up there to Landry. Landry's going to break a tackle and then, and then stumbles there some. Loses his balance, and he will get the uh, first down there. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try to see if we can do the same thing to Ben. Because, uh, like I said, Ben, you know, he's not uh, the, the Ben Rosberger we've seen him. Of course, his rookie year coming out here and, and doing what he did for the Steelers, and especially years, you know, up to years, many years later. I'd probably say last time they won the Super Bowl. Uh, since then, his numbers have been declining, and uh, he's starting to settle as a, you know, quarterback, as, you know, kind of one of those guys that, you know, he's – you're expecting big things from him, but at the same time, you kind of you already see what he can do, and now he's uh, getting ready to possibly, you know, good chance to retire. So see a pass up the middle, and no, no, that was to Higgins there. Higgins not there on time. Nice interception there for the Steelers, and the Steelers will go ahead and take possession. I was about to say the Pirates, <laughs> to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, it's Fitzpatrick. Comes down there on the play and gets the interception. So they get the ball their own 23. I don't know why I got, well, I've been playing a lot of baseball as well here as of late. So uh, we'll see Ben there. He'll get sacked. And then you see, oh, the ball's be, it's, it's fumbled. And it looks like uh, Pittsburgh's going to hold on to that ball. So a nice fumble. That is going to be a sack from Garrett as that'll be his first sack of the day here. As there is a loose ball, but we just couldn't get to it. So, you know, that maybe this is maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a little warning shot there from Garrett letting uh, Ben know that there's more to come. Second and 21 coming up here on their own 12. Ben drops back, throws this one there. That's going to go off to the side, and Harris will get out of bounds as he will barely get anything on that one. Third and 16. And we'll see a quick pass there and nice stop there from Harrison Jr., who breaks that play up and forces them to punt. So we get the ball now on our own 48 and play action here for Mayfield. Mayfield's like, you know what? You guys got me last time, but I'm going to hook up my boy Higgins. His, he gets down the field, and that is going to be a huge touchdown for the Browns as the Browns get down to the field. Touchdown, Cleveland. As they put six points on the board here on this drive. Look at this. This was just a great catch. There you see Fitzpatrick there trying to wrap up. But uh, Higgins there just says, nah, bro, you got me last time. This time I'm taking this one to the house. And that's exactly what he does on that play. So now seven points on the board there for Cleveland. As that is Higgins, his uh, fourth touchdown of the season. So now Pittsburgh has the ball back as they got a first and 10 on their own 25. Rosberger dropped back here. He's going to meet up with McKinley, and that's the second sack of the day here from this defense as McKinley gets his first. Nice play there from McKinley as he's bringing down Big Ben. And that looks like it's going to be sack number eight and a half for McKinley. And nice play there from the defense. Again, this is what we want, exactly what we were, our game plan is for Ben. As you see a ball in the 13-yard uh, line, second and 22. No incomplete pass, or incomplete pass there for that one. Go to the third and 22. Ben drops back in the pocket to the, far le or to the left side there, to throwing that one off to Harris. And Harris does not have enough there to get to it as he only hits 11. 
And as you see now, 4th and 11 coming up here. The Steelers has no choice but to punt this football here. And to put us back us up there to our own 44. As you see, offense doing a great job. Yeah, or defense doing a great job there. And now offense coming back up on the field. 334 left here in the first quarter. 7 0. As Mayfield looks down the field, scrambling off to the right hand side, looking for a deep pass. And oh, it's going to be snagged there. How the hell? That guy has ups. I'm telling you, that is Lane. He picks that uh, just ball right out of the air. I was shocked about this pass. Look at this. Just zip. And then it's like, whoa, how in the hell? <laughs> Did you get that? Justin Lang picks it off. Second interception now. Ben or as uh, Mayfield's given up here. And now Ben Rothberger has a chance now to do something here at midfield. First and ten. Ben drops back here, fires this one off to the side there, and that's going to be a catch and caught by uh, Najee Harris. It's going down to a second and five coming up. Ball in the 44. And handoff there to Najee Harris. Here is Harris puts his head down, and he is going to get the first down. Move the chains now to the 39-yard line. So, so far, this drive looking pretty promising as there's open backfield with Ben. As we'll see, Ben here throws, tries to throw this one up there, but he's going to be taken down by McKinley. That's the second sack now for McKinley. His nine-and-a-half sack of the season. And that is just going to be a great job to slow down this, uh, off, or this offensive drive they're having right now. And maybe, just maybe, this is a way where we can get back the ball if we can try to get Ben to try to fumble here. Second and 16 coming up. Ben drops back in the pocket. Looks to his left-hand side. Throws this one, and that is going to be a catch. Or that's going to be a, uh, that's, that's going to be a nice catch, but just uh, a couple yards. Barely anything really on that play. Third and eight coming up. We'll see a pass play. That's going to be picked off by Ward. I don't know where Ben was throwing that off, off at to, but... That ball is going to be taken back for a pick hit six here for Ward. Nice play as they get the interception. And now we have a two-possession lead here as Ward picks up, uh, I believe, his first, no, his second, his second touchdown, a uh, defensive touchdown this season. Nice play as Denzel Ward. Great job. He's been he's one of those top players that I've, I've named several times here this season who's been showing up here and just showing what this defense is all about. 14-0, the Browns lead this. Ball on their own 25-yard line. Steers now have the football backs. Rosberg there. Oh, almost gets that one picked off again there by Walker as he almost took that back for a pick six. Second and 10 coming up. Defense doing a great job here reading Ben's eyes. As Ben drops back here, and he's going to be met up there by Jackson. That's the third inter, or third sack of the day. And nice, uh, day, nice sack here from this defense. First one of the day for Jackson. As Jackson, uh, I believe, gets his 12th sack of the season. Nice job from Jackson. And again, this defensive line not being nice, being very brutal. To Ben Rosberg. Third and 16. We'll see a pass play. That one's going to get broken up. And that's going to force the. Uh, <laughs> geez, that's going to force Steelers to go ahead and punt. They wear the same, same colors. That's why they are. I'm getting them messed up here. As Hunt now takes off, he is going to run this one. And that's going to be a short carry there for him. Now, go to a uh, turn or a crucial third down here. Try to see if we can convert here for the first. Third and five coming up. Ball on the Steelers, 39-yard line. Mayfield drops back, looks, fires this one up the middle, and that one almost got taken away. As uh, I don't know what uh, Mayfield was looking at there, but there was a, you know, a nice uh, jersey there. So Mayfield says he's going to let the coach know that he wants to go for here. So fourth and five coming up. And this uh, play action, no, is going to be hit as he threw that ball there, and that's going to be a turnover on downs for the Browns. So Browns getting real confident there on offense, but that's going to come back and bite them here as they put the ball back of their own, or put the ball in the Steelers' own 39-yard line. That is going to end the first quarter with that carry there from Najee Harris. So we'll go to the second quarter. We'll see what we can 
Try to see if put some more pressure on this defense as we'll see a second and five coming up. Rothsberger drops back, throws up the middle. That's going to get caught by his tight end. That's a nice play. And again, that's going to help move the chains as that's going to be a first and ten. Ball now in Brown's territory. As Rothsberger drops back in the pocket. Jackson hunting him down again, and that's the second sack of the day for Jackson Great job there for him as he just finds Ben Rosberger. I don't know what Rosberger was thinking, but when I see a big 300-pound man coming at me wanting to bury me into the ground, I'm getting rid of that football. I don't care. <laughs> Second and five coming up. We'll see Harris here trying to get out of the backfield, and he is going to be brought down as that's a nice stop. We're doing a great job here not letting Ben take too much time in that backfield there and, and going through his progressions there. That's that's what I want to see. I hope we can continue that all game long. Third and 24, Ben throws this one up the middle. That's a good play, and that should stop the install the drive here as they will be sh well short of a first down. This is going to be a fourth and 16, and they'll be forced to punt the ball. So we get the ball after the punt on our throw in 32. First and 10 here for Baker Mayfield and the Browns. We'll hand this one off to Chubb. Chubb's going to run this one on the backfield. He stumbles there a little bit, and he probably barely gets a couple yards on that play. So now we go to a third and one coming up. Got to make another conversion here. And we'll see Chubb here runs this one up the middle, and he is going to get to the 47 for the Browns as they, again, get another first down. And that's going to help move the chains again. First and 10, let's try to see if we can, uh, again, move this football. It looks like we may try to go through the air this time for the uh, offense here. We haven't thrown too much, and that's kind of, we're kind of doing that for a reason. Mayfield, play action here, looking for a deep pass, finds Landry. Landry's going to take this one down the field here. Landry breaks a tackle and then finally gets wrapped up at the five. Huge play, and that's a huge first down. So he has uh, over... Uh, 200 or 1200 yards now for the season here and through the air great throw great catch and that's why you want to, that's why these two are probably my best combination uh, between these two uh, between the quarterback and receiver there on this team mayfield now at first and goal here after the big play ball in the five mayfield dropping back here mayfield needs to get rid of the football here he was got to do something with it he throws across his body that's dumb and that's going to be an incomplete pass. Second and five coming up. Play like that. If it breaks down, you just need to go ahead and just take off and run. Second and five. Or excuse me, second and goal here coming up on the ball on the five-yard line. Mayfield drops back in the pocket. Throws to the left-hand side. Finds OBJ. And that's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown Browns. As that's OBJ's first touchdown reception of the day. As his uh, 16th, yeah, no, his 15th of the season. And that is going to be a great play. And a great job getting in the end zone there, OBJ. As that now extends this lead that we have right now. As, yeah, that's his 15th of the season. I'm looking at my notes here. So, great job. Great drive. And a great job there of going against this defense. 21 nothing here as we have 6 uh, 626 left here in the first half. Right, we'll see a quick pass there. That's going to go to Ebrum. He, he'll get the catch. And that should be, no, just going to be short of the first down. Second and one coming up. Rosberg has a man in motion. Rosberg hands off to Najah Harris. Harris going to get out, try to get out of the backfield. He does. And that is going to be a first down as he is able to move the chains. First and 10, new set of downs, and again, Najee Harris getting his number called again, and that's going to be another gain there for him. That's He'll get about three on that carry. Second and eight, and Najee Harris, oh, we missed that block. We just missed, we just blew by the, the, the uh, runner there on that one as uh, it's another first down there on our error there on that part. So you see... Uh, Rosberg here, he's going to be taken down by Hill. Nice play there from Hill as he gets his first sack of the day. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's his first sack of the season. Great play, bringing down Big Ben 
And again, that offensive line not doing too much for Big Ben as Troy Hill gets a nice force, a uh, nice uh, tackle there, and it gets the uh, loss there for Big Ben. Second and 18 coming up. Ben now dropping back in the pocket, throws up the middle. Nice play, and that right there should be enough to just get him close to the uh, to the first down marker. Third and five coming up, ball in the 40. Rosberger now again drops back in the pocket, throws to the left. Ooh, throws the left hand side, almost gets that one tipped away, and that's going to be forcing him down to kick for a field goal here. This field goal's up, and the field goal is good as he just shaves the bar on the inside. Looks like they need a little shave there, looking a little, little grizzly there. And they get that one in there, and that is going to be three points on the board for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh now on the board here, 21-3. Ball on the 25-yard line here for the Browns as they'll hand this one off to Nick Chubb, and Chubb's going to run this one on the outside, but he is going to be stopped. Now, if anything, he probably lost a yard or two on that play. Go now to a third down, third and three coming up. Ball on their own 31-yard line. Hand this one off to Nick Chubb. And again, got to run it up the middle. We've been trying a little bit of combination of everything. The, up the middle, out you know, to the right, to the left. And so far, it looks like the right-hand side is a little strong there. We try to run on the uh, far right-hand side. But the left-hand left side is pretty uh, pretty weak. So we might just start to have to run that up that way. And, of course, it's up to the... Uh, of course, up the middle. As we see Mayfield here runs this one there. He's going to try to get out of bounds. But he is going to be tackled there, and that'll be at the 48 as he makes a little scramble. Two-minute warning coming up here for the first half. Mayfield drops back in the pocket. Looks back, fires this one to Higgins. Higgins trying to fight for that extra yardage and does so. And we do get to the two-minute warning here. So at the two-minute warning, Browns still have the ball, first and ten. Ball on the... Uh, Pittsburgh's 20 or 42 yard line and they'll hand that off to Chubb again for a couple of yards on the play third and four coming up trying to convert here for the first down so far we've had one uh, you know uh, one bad showing of third down as we do see a timeout here being called and we'll see if uh, no, yeah, they're going to go ahead and go for it again here. So fourth and inches here. They're going to go for it. Now, the question is, is it going to be on the ground? Or was it, it going to be like the air game last time where we completely missed? And we get the, we stay wise here and stay on the ground with a carry there for Nick Chubb as he does convert for the first down. So now first and 10, 47 seconds left here in the first half. Mayfield drops back in the pocket. Looking down the field, looks up the middle, finds OBJ wide open, touchdown Browns. And that is going to put us in a very nice lead here, as you see. <laughs> a little pro wrestling there for OBJ and the offensive lineman there as they uh, get a nice, they're pretty much pinning uh, the Steelers right now into a loss. And look at this, just a beautiful throw up the middle. OBJ gets in there, and then he gets a second receiving touchdown of the day and it's his 16th of the season there you see nice drive there from Pittsburgh or excuse me from Cleveland here as Pittsburgh is now in trouble so so far this is just not like I said this is boy, exactly what we wanted here for Ben uh, Ben not uh, just just doesn't look too confident out there at all when this passes so could be a long night here for Ben I'll be surprised if they keep him in the game throughout the whole game. First and 10, we'll see a quick pass there. That is broken up. Great job there from the defense reading that one. Go now to a third and 10 coming up. Just 33 seconds left here in the first half. Man in motion. And we'll see a handoff there to Najee Harris. Harris is going to be brought down as he gets a gain of six on that carry. And it's going to be a fourth and four coming up for Pittsburgh. We'll see what they're going to try to do with just 23 seconds left. Are they going to go ahead and go for it? Well, no, they're not. They're going to go ahead and just punt the ball and go into the half with the lead as it is. So, at halftime, it is 28-3. to As, of course, Pittsburgh has the takeaway game for us. Right now, they have two interceptions compared to our one, but our one gave us six points. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not upset with that at all. <laughs> uh, I'm fine with that, you know. 
but you know, I was surprised at that that guy just I didn't realize how close he was. My my death was not that great there when I threw that football there with uh, Mayfield, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get into uh, showing you guys here. It's just some scores here uh, of this game as uh, we'll get back into the second half. But yeah, second half, we just make a few adjustments. Uh, but really and truly, next half, we just need to go in here and just finish this game off. Go in here and just make this the most tough uh, 30 minutes of football for Ben and uh, just really uh, ruffle him up, get him fl flustered, and uh, just make some bad plays and uh, continue doing what we were doing in the first half and just amp it up some uh, so we can walk out of here with a nice victory. we got a nice lead. Let's just make sure we hold on to it. So here we are starting the second half off. First and 10 here on their own 22. Browns have the football. And they'll hand off this one to Chubb as he is going to be dragged down uh, for barely, if not anything, on that carry. Second and 10 coming up. Ball in the 23. Chubb again. Now this time they're going to run it to the right-hand side. Chubb gets a decent block and then finally just finds his way to the first down marker as he does get the first down. Nice run there from Nick Chubb. And that again to move the chains here at the 33. So first and 10 coming up. Mayfield in I formation under center. Hand this one off to Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb has a good block there. As that's an excellent block there from the line. And they go ahead. And now they're going to be sending at the 41-yard line to convert for a third down. So let's see if we can convert on this third down. Third and two. Nick Chubb stumbles there and breaks a tackle. And, oh, almost took off. He could have took it off on that one there, but he gets tripped up. As that's a nice shoestring tackle there from the defense. And they do get him at the 49. So they do get the first down. And, of course, the uh, Steelers will love to try to get a stop here. And kind of slow down Nick Chubb here in this situation here, but it just doesn't look like that's going to be the case as Nick Chubb again gets the ball there. You see he has now close to somewhere around 80 yards now. It's some point here he should. We'll get to a second and five coming up. Ball in the 47. Mayfield in the backfield along with Hunt. Drop back here. And he's going to throw this one there to Rashad Huggins. Huggins is going to get the catch. Huggins going to keep his feet up and then finally wrap down to the 23-yard line as he gets a huge first down and is able to move the chains. He has as well has uh, several catches here now, and he has now about 83 yards on the day. First and 10, Mayfield drops back in the pocket, looking here, fires this one there to Landry. Landry gets the catch. He's going to be brought down at the 22 and that's going to be just a one-yard reception. But, hey, we'll take it no matter what. That's, uh, you know, unfortunately it's not going to get us the first down, but it is going to get us closer there as we get a chance now to maybe see what. No, we're not going to bring out our kicker here. Even though our kicker has been kind of, you know, sus at times. Well, they're decided they're going to go ahead and they're going to go for it here on the fourth down. So fourth and one coming up, ball in the 14. And this one off to Nick Chubb. And, oh, yeah. Nick Chubb got that one indeed. It might as well. I mean, he has a confidence right now. He is overflowing in that uh, in that sector right now. He can definitely get that ball through there. So they do get the first down on that fourth down there. And we'll see a run here from Hunt as Hunt is going to get inside the 10. And he will get a short carry. Third and five coming up. We'll see what Mayfield is going to do here. I imagine they'll probably try to throw here. Ball on the five-yard line. Play clock taking down the 14. Mayfield drops back, fires, and finds an open Huggins as he gets in there. Touchdown, Huggins, as that is his fifth touchdown reception of the season. Nice job, and that's, I believe, his uh, first here for the day. As the Browns, again, extend this lead 35-3. So, again, a long night here for Big Ben, as you see there. Got a lot of, uh, got to look like he has a lot of worry on his mind right now. First and 10 coming up, ball in the 25. And we'll see a run here from Najee as he will get, or, yeah, uh, that is Najee. So he runs this one for just a one-yard carry. 
Drop back here, second and nine. Ben dropping back. He dropped back too far, and he's going to beat up with McKinley again. His third sack of the night here. It says it's going to be his tenth sack of the season. Technically a ten and a half sack of the season. As that's just a, just a mon. This guy's just been a beast here. And again, that's what we want to see here. We want to see our linemen get in there, penetrate the offensive line, and just take over. And uh, and just run Ben Ragged. Third and 17 coming up. Pass play up. That is going to be stopped and deflected there by Harris Jr. And that's going to be a force a punt. So we'll see now. Mayfield has the ball here. The ball in the own 48-yard line. Mayfield drops back in the pocket here. Looking to scramble to the right-hand side. Looking for a deep pass. But no, he's going to call his number instead. He's going to go all the way down the field. He's going to take this one into the end zone. He's going to be stopped at the one. Man, damn. Wish he could have got in there. That's a big run there. That run is going to give him over 50 yards now. As that's his only a second carry of the game. And he was just a yard short of getting a huge first down. Man. So first and goal coming up here for Baker Mayfield. And the Browns, as we'll see Nick Chubb run this one in there again. Big run there from Nick Chubb. Oh, my goodness. This game's getting away so fast here. It's going to be 42-3. to Extra point pending. And this offense, I mean, they're just running a great offense here. Nick Chubb showing off what he can do here tonight. As he has just become the monster here in the Steel City. So 42-3. As the Browns are very happy with this lead. Now let's see if we can bring our defense back out here again. See if we can do some more damage to Ben and his offense. As we stop Najee Harris on that carry. Two Less than two minutes left here in the third quarter. Third and six coming up. Roethlisberger. Drives back in the pocket, throws off to the far left-hand side, and he cannot get that one to Ibram, and that's going to be an incomplete pass, and that's going to force him to punt. So you see 11 of 20, 11 of 11 of 16, a little over 150 yards, and of course uh, two passing, a couple of passing touchdowns here for him. First and ten coming up, handoff there to Nick Chubb as Chubb's going to run this one there, a nice run. Nick Chubb getting close to the centering mark here. In today's game and rushing. Third and ten. We're gonna to try to see if we can convert here on this down. And again, you see Mayfield. They lose track of Mayfield. He gets down the field and gets the convert for the first down. He has now three carries, 70 yards here today. And you know that sideline there. You know the defensive coordinator over there is probably just flipping his lid, saying, Why are you guys not paying attention? To Mayfield, you're letting him run here. But they've been letting him do a little bit of both in the running and the passing game here so far today. As you see, now he's going to run off to the left-hand side. We'll see him run here, and that's a good run. As I wanted to see if uh, he can run to the left-hand side, but he does. And does a very good job there to get eight yards. Second and two coming up. Mayfield drops back in the pocket. Scrambling off to the left hand, right hand side again, looking down the field here, and oh, he should have went ahead and just ran that one there, as he gets creamed there, just short of the first. So third and two coming up as we start the fourth quarter. Hand off here to Hunt. Hunt's going to run this one there up the middle, and that's going to give him to the 47 yard of the Steelers. And that's going to be a first and ten for the Browns. First and ten coming up. Ball on the 47, hand this one off there to Chubb. Chubb's going to run this one there. Almost broke a tackle and made a big run as he is now over 100 yards now for the day. And of course, a nice rushing touchdown there for himself. He has one on the ground so far here today. Second and four coming up. Hand this one off there to Hunt. Hunt's going to run this one there. He's going to bounce around and finally get dropped down as Fitzgerald, Fitzpatrick there, excuse me, Gets the uh, the tackle, and but it's already too late as we do get the first down and keep this ball moving, and of course have that clock starting melting away. First and ten coming up again, a handoff there to Nick Chubb. Why not? Just keep it rolling as Chubb there gets this one. That's gonna be a five or six yard carry, and that's gonna get him a second and five. 
Still manageable here as we are on the on the 25 yard line. Hand this one off to Nick Chubb again. Nick is going to run this one up the middle, and he is just a monster when it comes to this running game here. He's been like that all season long, and I'm hoping that will continue as we go into the second half of the season. We'll see if he can do that in the postseason. First and 10, ball on the 12. Mayfield taking his time here. Dropping back here, going off the right-hand side. He's going to get taken down there by T.J. Watt. As T.J. Watt just go, puts his arm out and just grabs him. That's going to be a sack. That's a loss of eight on that play. And that's going to put us at a second and 18. Ball on the 21-yard line. You see the uh, Steelers are a little spread out some here. They are looking for that pass. We'll see a pass there thrown there to Higgins. Higgins gets into the end zone, but he's going to be marked at the one. They say he went out of bounds. Dang it, I thought it was going to be a touchdown. But unfortunately, we're a yard short. And I thought Higgins would have a touchdown on his leisure here today. It's, that is going to put us at the one. So we'll see what the coach and the offensive coordinator has in store for our boys here on the one-yard line. Mayfield at the one. They have all their big boys up here. So we could be seeing probably maybe a possible run. Nick Chubb is in the backfield. We'll see a quick pass there. That's going to be picked off. And that is not what we want. But there is a flag on the field here as the defender here is going to take this all the way down here. As you see Nick Chubb trying to chase him down and try to get the tackle before he scores. But there is a flag on the field here. I think this flag, if I'm looking correctly, is coming from the backfield of the defense. So it could be a defensive play, and yes it is. It's roughing the passer as that is on Fitzpatrick. Micah Fitzpatrick gets called, man. So it's going to be accepted, and we're back on the one. So we're going to basically repeat the down here, first and goal. Hopefully Mayfield be a little bit more smarter here as they will go ahead and give this one a hunt this time around. And they get in the end zone. Touchdown, Browns. They got lucky on that call because if we didn't get that call, <laughs> oh, the Steelers would have, uh, that would have been just a bad, just, that would have been an ugly call. I, I mean, that was an ugly call. We shouldn't have called that kind of type of play. But we we're trying to get, you know, trying to get everybody involved in the game. Uh, I believe that was to David and Joku. But, uh, yeah, they, they say roughing the passer. So, we'll, you yeah, know, we'll go ahead and accept that and get the ball back. So, first and ten coming up. Ball on the 25-yard line here for the Steelers. Rosberger has a pocket here, and that pocket's collapsing as he gets hit as he throws that throws that ball there. That's going to be an incomplete pass. He is smart this time around, throwing that one away. So we'll see a second and 10 coming up. Ball on the still on the 25-yard line. Jackson's going to meet him up there, and that's going to be another sack there from Jackson. His third sack of the day. Beautiful job there from Jackson. As I believe now Jackson has a total of 14 sacks for the season. Wow. As Jackson brings him down and just, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> nice play there as he shoves him down. And Ben is able to hold on to the football. Third and 17 coming up. 544 left here in the fourth. Rosberger throws this one up there. This one's going to be battered away. Cannot make a play. And Baker Mayfield is going to come back on the field here. So we could see this game being finished right here. Baker Mayfield 17, or 12 of 17, 214. Four touchdowns and two interceptions. We'll see a handoff here to Nick Chubb as he runs this one on the outside. And he is going to be stopped. And I barely get back to live scrimmage on that play. So now second down. See Landry in motion. He's going to go from your right side of the screen to your left side of the screen near the slot position. And we'll see a play action here from Mayfield. He's going to throw this one up there. That's going to be caught by Hooper. And Hooper gets the catch. And that is going to be a first down. But Trotter, one of our linemen, is down. Ah, come on. It's not time to be getting hurt right now. We need everybody healthy. Start getting everybody back from the uh, uh, IR here. As we'll see a handoff there to Nick Chubb. Chubb's going to run this one on the outside there. Stiffs arms the defender, but he's going to be met there by the defender. I believe that's to wit. 
And he's going to bring him down there for the, uh, as he does get a gain of nine on that carry. Second and one coming up. Mayfield in the backfield there with, I believe, Hunt. And Mayfield needs to get rid of the football there. He's, oh, he, I thought he got, he had that tackle broken, but Casey Hayward will come up and will sack him. That's the 15th sack of the season now for Casey Hayward. There you see a disloaded, dislocated shoulder for Treader. He is definitely going to be out for some time. So the ball now on the 39-yard line, third and 20. And then we see a pass play there from Hoop to Hooper, but Hooper cannot connect with it. And it's going to be an incomplete pass as we go now to a fourth and 20. And we're going to trust, put some trust to our kicker here. And our kicker is going to be short as he cannot get this one. The win is up just a bit. Of course, you know, bad. You know, you're just, it doesn't matter if it's a five per hour win. It's going to be like a hurricane wind of like 140. But that one did get caught and it's going to be short there. So no field goal kick there as we see the balls there at the 47, or excuse me, 46 yard line for the Pat, for the Steelers. And it's Pittsburgh there trying to get down the field. Second and 10 coming up for Roethlisberger. Man in motion, that is Harris. Roethlisberger drops back in the pocket, throws this one up there. That is to Ebrom. Ebrom here fighting for that extra yards there. And I believe they'll mark him and say he is just short of the first. Third inch is coming up here for the Steelers. That's a fumble there. It's a nice sack, and we get the ball back. Nice play. That's the second fumble now for Ben Roethlisberger. Loses the football. That is the fourth sack of the night for Jackson, if I'm not mistaken there. As he gets another sack, that's now sack number 15 for him. Of course, that forced fumble there from Jackson. Of course, a fumble recovery there for Garrett so we get the ball back here on their 47 yard line and Nick Chubb's gonna run a run there to the side near the sidelines and he will get tossed over the sidelines there by Tewitt three yard carry we go now to a second and seven coming up and so hand this one off to Nick Chubb and again Chubb going down the field running this one here he's gonna break a tackle get down to the inside of the 20 they're gonna mark him at the ninth maybe 18 and a half yard line for the first down as he again they are moving those chains the come on chain gang let's get down here let's get something going as they do a great job here running this ball great job here this season with this offensive line I wasn't for sure at first but so far it's looking really good as we see hunt now he's trying to break a tackle as he runs into one of his own guys and he's going to get three yards on that carry. I'm surprised. Second and seven coming up. 2.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Ball on the 16-yard line. Mayfield here. And it's hands off, hand off to Chubb. And Chubb tries to break a tackle. And he's trying to get into the end zone. But he's going to be a yard short as he's looking for his second rushing touchdown of the day. 32 carries, 171 yards for the, him tonight. And he is sniffing for that end zone. So we'll get to the two-minute warning here for the Browns. I believe that they'll go ahead and run the clock out to the two-minute warning. So they'll have a two-minute warning timeout, and then we'll see the Browns come back out here again, having the ball at the one-yard line. Ball at the one-yard line here, first and ten after the two-minute warning. Hand it off there to Chubb. Chubb, oh, can't get around. He gets bounced, pushed back there by his own lineman. And he loses a yard on the play. That's going to be a second and goal coming up here. As he, I think he got, he just burst out behind that lineman a little too soon there and should have took his time. Second and goal coming up here. Ball on the two-yard line. We'll see what Mayfield can do. As, again, they're just taking their time here with the football, making sure they can just milk this clock as much as they possibly can. It's a 49-3 game. You don't want to do nothing stupid regardless of the score. As Nick Chubb gets into the end zone, and that's a touchdown. Browns. As Nick Chubb gets his second rushing touchdown of the day. I believe that is a rushing touchdown for him. That is, uh, for the season now, is his 25th of the season as he is leading in that category here by leaps and bounds. 
compared to the rest of the league. So Nick Chubb doing a great job here with the running game here today. And you see there Najee Harris saying, man, why can I have a, a night like this? Why can we have a season like this? And then, of course, I don't know. Change the other guards coming up here pretty soon here for the Steelers. As, of course, they'll be looking for a new quarterback possibly next season. Speaking of the quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger back out here with a minute 18. He drops back, throws this one off to Najee Harris on a screen pass, and that should be enough for the first as they do get a first down. First and 10, under a minute left. Roethlisberger drops back again, fires this one there to Ibram. Ibram brings it down, gets to the other side of the 50, and that is going to be a first and 10 as that's his fourth catch of the day with 43 yards for the night. First and 10, just 30 seconds left here. Najee Harris in, uh, out of, coming out of the backfield, playing now as a receiver. Open backfield, we'll see a catch there. That's going to go to Ibram again, and that's going to be just short of the first. One second left here as they get them back on the line, and they go ahead and tackle. And that is going to be it for this one as the game is over. And probably a good thing there for the Steelers as they end up coming up short here in this one. Very short, actually. 49-13, <laughs> 49-3 is your final score as the Steelers, unfortunately, go down again against us here. So we win this series here. So far, we, I mean, we've we only had one tough series so far. That was against the Ravens, which I expected that. Uh, but this one, I was kind of thinking the second, you know, as they say, you know, it's hard to beat a, your opponent, you know, twice in a season. And I was not expecting this blowout like this, like we had here tonight. So it is a blowout. 56-3 is your final score. Take a look at some of the numbers here, some of the team stats that you guys can look at. And overall... Uh, you know, we were kind of, you know, turnovers was a was a little bit of an issue for us, uh, but that's all right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold them to those interceptions there. Um, maybe the first one, but the second one, I just that was yeah, that was just I want to say Madden cheese, but I don't know. <laughs> you guys be the judges. Let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, but I think overall, I think we I think we played our against we played well with our game plan. We stuck with it and we did a great job. Baker Mayfield, 13 of 19 in this ball game, 236 yards, four touchdowns, yeah, two interceptions, and of course he was sacked twice in the ball game. Nick Chubb had a great game here tonight, but definitely the MVP of this game. Uh, 34 carries, 172 yards, two touchdowns. He had 11 broken tackles. Wow, in this game. Hunt as well, uh, nine carries for 36 yards. He had two rushing touchdowns as well. Uh, Mayfield also had a nice uh, run there for himself there on the ground. Uh, he has 78 yards with five carries. As for receiving, uh, Higgins, he had two touchdowns in the game. Uh, he had 112 yards and five receptions. OBJ, uh, two receptions for 35 yards and two touchdowns as well. Uh, and then, of course, we'll take a look at some of the defensive numbers here. Some of the top defensive players for us. Uh, as we take a look here, and we're still on the uh, OBJ stuff. Uh, but as for defensive-wise, uh, Oswal Kamara, eight tackles, the most in the game uh, for us. Uh, he had a tackle for loss as well, his ninth of the year. Jackson, six tackles, tackle for loss, his eighth of the year, and four sacks. He has now 15 for the season. Of course, the first fumble, as well as Taki Taki had four tackles and a tackle for loss, his third. Uh, and then Ward had a tackle for loss, uh, his first. Uh, interception there from Ward, his fifth, and a touchdown for himself. That's his second of the season, as well as three tackles. And, of course, Garrett had a tackle, a sack, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. McKinley had a great game there. Uh, he was a beast as well. Three tackles, three sacks. He has now ten and a half. Uh, Jackson, him and Jackson right now uh, leading in sacks on the team right now. So that's awesome. We actually got three guys in the double digits in sacks right now. So that's really I really like that. That's, that's great. Uh, but yeah, overall this was a great game. Like I said, we stayed with our game plan. Did a great job of. Uh, 
you know, getting Ben Skinner, you see Ben 13 of 28, 112 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. He had two fumbles in the game. Uh, so just, yeah, again, not a great night for him. 12 of 46 there for Najee Harris. He had two broken tackles. We really neutralized that running game. We didn't really run outside uh, that he is accustomed to, so that's awesome. Ebro, five catches for 48 yards, no touchdowns. We didn't get, I mean, we didn't give up anything, so you can tell, take a look here, nothing. Uh, we didn't give nobody over 50 yards in the game, so that's really nice. Uh, and then, of course, there you see their offensive numbers. Bush had the most tackles there for them, um, as well as Fitzpatrick. He had a nice game there. Of course, he did have a, you know, boo-boo. Uh, and, of course, uh, so did um, Hayward. Uh, he had a pretty good game there uh, for himself, so... Nah, it was not Casey Harris. I can't think of it. There's two Haywards. There's one of the Raiders and one for the Pittsburgh. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, for the most part, they just – it was a good game. Um, they just We had a great game, and we, we stick with our game plan and did a great job with it. So, uh, let's take a look here, wrapping up today's episode. You see some upgrades here. Nick Chubb, of course, we're working on his uh, receiving and uh, receiving back. Upgrading that area, of course, Jack, uh, there you see, we're working on his uh, pass protection, I believe. So, nice little upgrade there for him. McKinley, of course, uh, you know, we're going to, obviously, we're going to look like, uh, we're going to work on his running, uh, run stopping, or run stopper there. So, and then, of course, uh, we're going to work on uh, Hudson's uh, pass protector there from him. So, great job overall for everybody. And now we get ready for the season finale. As we get ready for the final game of the regular season, it's going to be at home at First Energy. As we take on ball or take on uh, the Bengals, uh, I'm really surprised it wasn't Baltimore in the last game, but you know, we already played it. Thank God. We don't have to see them until possibly the playoffs. So, but anyway, uh, <laughs> the Bengals will be uh, in town. We'll face them at home. Uh, seven and nine, they are right now. And Jesse Bates is the top player for them. And we'll see how things go coming up in that game as well as we do have a press conference there. We'll see what that press conference is all about for the final game of the regular season. So definitely come on back for episode 17, you guys, as we're in week 18 and we play in the final regular season game at home. But that is uh, it for this episode of uh, the Browns franchise. Definitely come on back, you guys, for the next one as uh, we try to continue this journey that we're on. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like. That helps me greatly um, so much. You guys don't understand. That helps so much uh, for us YouTube. Um, uh, <laughs> people on YouTube here. So, the, you know, creators and stuff. Uh, not to mention, follow us on uh, our social medias. They're down below, Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. And check us out on Twitch as we do live stream on Twitch. Schedule of days that we live stream is down below as well in the description. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, as again, stay tuned for more here on the channel here on ESGN Net. And, of course, don't forget to check us out on our second channel over on ESGN Net LP as well. That's it for me, you guys. As always, keep yourselves and each other healthy, and I will see you all next time.